10 fire departments and, uh, and several EMS units, the over 100 safety service uh, personnel from our community who came together to very quickly contain uh, what could have been a very, very dangerous uh, and obviously was a dangerous fire episode in our community. I'm also very pleased that uh, the campus security staff at Lorraine County Community College uh, responded very quickly utilizing uh, our total array of emergency communication systems from our text message messaging system to external sirens and to uh, internal voice communications to notify students and faculty and staff of the imminent <coughs> danger and to very quickly evacuate the campus and to assure the safety of everyone uh, in our community. Now the, the fire that took place uh, in the tunnels caused some significant damage. Uh, it did cause disruptions to the electrical grid uh, for our campus. And as most of you know, our buildings are interconnected, some of them with tunnels, most of them with bridges uh, at the first or second floor level uh, above our uh, above ground. Uh, but because of the interconnected nature, we have them uh, tied to a utility grid that includes electrical, uh, certainly for heating, air conditioning, and so on. Now, because the electrical grid was compromised, we are in the process of isolating the impact on each and every building on campus so that we can safely restore the electrical service to those buildings and get them back into operation uh, as quickly as possible. Having a set of interconnected <laughs> facilities, uh, there was a tremendous amount of smoke with this fire episode, and so we have smoke that has permeated uh, some of the buildings on campus and will have to be mitigated. We are working closely with our insurance provider uh, and with the mitigation company that, uh, uh, that they have utilized and authorized to go into each of the facilities and to determine what needs to be cleaned in order to enable uh, students, faculty, and staff to safely use the buildings uh, going forward. The, the cause of the fire is, is under investigation. Uh, the Ohio State Fire Marshal uh, has the legal authority and responsibility for that investigation, working with the Elyria Fire Department and the Elyria Police Department. Uh, they have been here all day and are combing through the, uh, the, the results uh, of the fire and are researching right now what the cause of this episode was. So there were three uh, we don't have any definitive information for you on that at this point. There were three things that made the Elyria Fire Chief suspicious about this fire. And I'm wondering if you consider this the possibility anyway that this was an arson set by someone intentionally. We, we do not intend to uh, prejudge the, the investigation uh, of the, the state fire marshal. Uh, he and, and his staff and the Elyria Fire uh, Department are experts in this field. They are able to take uh, all the shreds of evidence that they can find and help us piece that together.